A former Navy SEAL sounding the alarm on hundreds of Navy SEALs quitting over these max, uh, vaccine mandates. And it's not just happening in the military. Law enforcement members are, members are also fighting back, including a veteran police officer out in California who hung up his badge over the vaccine requirement for all city employees. David Gutierrez served nearly 30 years in the San Jose Police Department, and he joins us now with more on his decision. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And, uh, I just want to... I just want to thank God for giving me the strength to step out of my comfort zone and, and thank you for the opportunity to speak. Oh, well, you know, thank you so much for coming on. It's an important topic and thank you for your service out there. Why, tell us why you decided to hang up your badge. Uh, well, when we received an email saying that uh, you're going to have a vaccine by a certain date or face discipline up to including termination, um, and I took it as a threat and because I don't plan to be vaccinated and I decided to turn in my badge so I can speak up because others can't for fear of losing their job. Sergeant, how hard of a decision was that? Uh, very difficult, especially after, you know, serving for that many years and, and putting on the uniform uh, so many times. The, the last time I put on, it's, you know, it's emotional. You're being forced to leave your job because you don't want to get this vaccine. Are you are you alone in this in your department? <laughs> I'm definitely not alone. There's several hundred people throughout the city that that back this, and it's unfortunate uh, because they were doing weekly testing for a very short period of time before they moved on to this mandate. And while most people don't want to do weekly testing, it. it they would much rather do that and keep their job than, than be forced to get a, a vaccination. And the, the mayor had said that it, this was done to protect the employees and the population. But the thing is, they're not testing the vaccinated employees. And we all know that vaccinated people can get the virus and spread it without knowing even. So that doesn't seem right. And he also had said that the Percentage uh, went up from 82 to 85 percent, and he had said that the strategy is working. And if the strategy is to force people to decide whether to have a livelihood or get the vaccine, uh, that's not something to be proud of. I know that your department's already understaffed, so if so many people quit, that's going to be detrimental to the community when they call 911 and there aren't enough officers to come to their rescue and their aid. I know you're not an anti-vaxxer. You just don't want to get it. You don't want to be forced to put something in your body for religious reasons. What are you going to do next? How will you make money? <laughs> I haven't even thought about that. Um, you know, I, I am retired. I, I have a, my retirement. Um, I, w I was after I retired, I became the reserve because I was making extra money. And I don't know if we could always say extra because, you know, we all get enough just to pay the bills. But right. I, I mean, I'll find some way. And it's, it's really money's not important to me right now. It's this cause and, and my uh, other people in the group. And, and it's not just police officers. It's, it's our dispatchers. It's people in every other city uh, function. And, like you said, they, they're very understaffed. Um, you can't find qualified people. And also, you can't lose these people who have been here for so many years. You're not losing just a person. You're losing all of that experience as well. Do you feel defeated, abandoned? Who do you blame for this? I don't feel defeated at all because I have strength. I have faith. And... I know that it's going to turn out right because, you know, I, I believe that God's leading me in this direction and mm -hmm. we're going to win in the end. Have you thought about moving and going to an area where you don't have to be vaccinated? <laughs> yeah, I would be lying if I said that hasn't crossed my mind. Um, but it's there's so many other things right now that are, are important here mm -hmm. um, that I would not move on before they're taken care of. Real quickly, David, why did you serve? I, I served because I had a skill set that was turned out to be really good for that. Um, just enjoy talking to people. Really, we all say we want to serve the community. I, I really did enjoy that. I, I like to help people. I like to fight for the victims. Um, that 
I worked in so many different units uh, just so I can, you know, serve people in many different capacities, and I enjoyed it. Wow. Well, you have a, a skill to protect the community that you love so much, and I'm really sorry that you're not going to be able to do that anymore, but I know your faith will get you through this, and you'll find something else. God bless you. Uh, God bless you, too. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Sergeant.